All right, today I want to talk about tool sets. Um, this is my old tool set here, and it's not as big, but for my car it is. It's, it takes quite a bit of space, and um, if you go to the junk car, for example, it gets pretty heavy after a while. And just this will take uh, all the space on my backpack. So I wanted to look at something smaller that I could uh, have in the car and take with me. And that's where this one comes in. Just came in the mail, but as you can see, here I'll put it on that corner. That's how big of a difference these two uh, kits are. Just got this in the mail. As you can see, it's all uh, shrink wrap. This is a 3.8 from EP Auto. And let me see if I can turn it here. This is basically what. You'll see when you get this smaller 3.8 set. It's not a full set um, in terms of uh, having multiple ratchets, but I just kind of want to give you an idea. So let me put them side by side here. Just to kind of give you an idea uh, if I move this up. So you can see this is a lot bigger. And I needed something smaller because um, it just gets way too heavy. And I'm not using everything that's in here. But of course, there are uh, some pros and cons, so I'm just going to go into uh, that right now as far as the uh, smaller tool set because this is what I want to look at since um, I haven't seen too many videos on this. And um, the reason I got this particular version is because there is a tool set that's the same, I think it's the same, uh, what was it, 45 piece? I'm trying to remember what this is. I think it's 45. I'll double check in a minute. Um, and it's from Tech. Techno? Yeah, I think it was Techno. And they're almost identical. Oh, but this one's a lot cheaper than the Techno. And um, there's a couple other things why I chose this one other than the price. Since I already have a kit, I didn't want to spend too much on this. Now, it is a little heavy quite heavy actually tells you what the top is so we want to do that right but here's what the case looks like it's not red like the uh, tech done but let me fix this before I'll do that later so the reason I got this uh, it's mainly one because I wanted something smaller two it has shallow and deep, deep sockets my craftsman down here does not have deep sockets. So you get both on the smaller um, uh, set here. Let me see if I can get this a little closer here so you can see it. Um, it's made in Taiwan according to this. So to be honest I wasn't, it's, I'm not expecting much but um, let's take a look. That's an interesting clip here. Um, obviously it's nice if you had a handle, but it is what it is. The case is pretty nice. Let me take a look at the back real quick before I forget. So that's actually hinge. I don't think it's plastic in there, but I just want to make sure we look at both sides. There's no logo here. Logos up here. So logos on the top and this is a toolkit or tool set you get your foam and um, let's take a look at the sockets Convenadium 19 millimeter actually it doesn't look too bad Actually, it looks pretty nice um, so far. 
the ratchet. Let's see what we got here. That's supposed to be, I think, so many tooth teeth ratchet, if I remember right. I don't know if it says it on here, but it's a 45 piece. There we go. Six point for everything. 3.8 drive, SAE and metric. And uh, I thought I saw the ratchet was a 72 tooth. Um, I can't see that anywhere. Mm, I might be missing it, but no. Pair head ratchet. It doesn't say what it is. So I'm not gonna assume what it is, but uh, that's what it sounds like. goes in pretty smooth. Oh wow, that's nice. There is a little bit of wobble. A little bit. Well, you can use that to your advantage, I guess. But it's not coming off, so that's good. Let's try the smallest one. I think the wobble might be on the uh, ratchet, not the actual uh, socket sockets look good so anyways what I wanted to point out is that on the EP set here you have extra space here on the end let me put it on the camera here so I could probably put in a longer ratchet let's see my craftsman here and they're loose, so yeah, you don't want to drop this. So the craftsman almost fits, but it's too wide on here. But lengthwise, you can definitely get something else to go a little longer than the one that it comes with. Because the ratchets, I don't know why they made it so small or short, I should say. It's a seven inch ratchet. Uh, usually you want the leverage, obviously. But if you're watching this, I don't have to tell you that. Yeah, this is uh, seven and three quarters, so that's the difference. Uh, you have about three quarters extra space here, which you don't have on the Texton. Okay. So it comes with the wobbly. Just blanked out on the name. Anyways, the uh, this part, uh, universal joint. There we go. And that seems to fit. Actually, everything fits well here. It's just the uh, the ratchet side that eh, the fit might be a little bit, a little bit different. But it doesn't hurt it. Um, so that's that. So I want to check the uh, fit on all of them real quick because um, some people were saying they were getting some some weird ones in the uh, the bigger package or the bigger set. Sorry, this is going to take a moment here. I just want to make sure um, I don't see any problems on this uh, set. So far, everything goes in without a problem. The sockets look fine. Um, they're all six point. Actually, they're, uh, they're really, they actually look very nice. And like I was saying, um, the nice thing about this is that you get both, shallow and the deep. So that's really uh, useful. And it's only a 3.8, so I do have other ratchets that I just got. If I really want to use something else, but this obviously is are the most common.
And I'm doing this on the camera because I do want to uh, make sure that they all fit okay. And as you can see, the inside looks really nice. So what else we got here? This here, these are the uh, SAE. Okay, this way the red sounds kind of crappy. Bag sounds a little nicer. But that's that. Actually, I don't expect the wretches, I mean, yeah, sockets to be bad. They all look really nice. Oh, I like these. These actually uh, grab on there so they don't fall off, which is nice. And the part I like is that all the SAE set or the uh, standard set, it's all up here. And this is all your metric, which is what I mostly use anyway. I don't think I did that one. But they're, they hold on pretty well. They don't fall out, but they come out really easy. So that's actually pretty nice. Right. So, righty. You got tidy, lefty, loosey. So I'm trying to remember if that's the same way as the other horror freights or the other ones. I can't remember, but I always check this way. Oh, that's in the middle. So, so far, so good. Um, I haven't seen, I haven't checked all of them, obviously, but on the other side. But they all. Going to the ratchet, fine. This is the uh, 16th. So I'll go into that in a second here. Just want to check them all real quick. Wow, this thing is a little hard. Okay, it's getting harder to push on to the to both sides actually. Like get stuck. So the ratchet, it's definitely not the best one. It's getting really tough to push it. But everything else with the sockets looks really good so far. And this thing is, I'm gonna have to take this apart and clean it up because it does get stuck like right there it just doesn't let me go all the way through that so as you can see oh yeah this is not that great as far as the ratchet goes but um all the sockets seem to go in fine so that's good and they look really nice actually the quality looks good Obviously, it's hard to tell if that plating is really good or not until you actually use it. I think I just saw a little piece go down there. So we'll see how long that lasts. And this has a little bit of knurling there. EP Auto, Chrome Vanadium. So everything there looks okay. Except for the uh, ratchets, a little temperamental here but you can take it apart from what I can see here so that's nice and I do like the quick release um, especially on the smaller sockets with your greasy hands that makes it a lot easier to do anyways um, I haven't seen too many um, EP auto sets and mainly the text on one that's similar to this but uh, sockets look good so actually I got a bolt here. this is uh, 17 I think it was alright so my battery uh, 
died before I finished the video on this uh, particular tool set from uh, EP Auto. This is the 45 piece uh, 3 8 as I showed you before. I'm not going to go in through all that since I already did it. I just want to finish up the video. And as you can see here, I changed the sticker from the left side to the right and I put it nice and even. Just kind of nice that they have it, so uh, I'm going to leave that alone. Oh, uh, one thing I need to uh, show you is this uh, latch here. It works really well, but as you can see, it's all plastic. So you have to be very careful because the case is definitely all plastic, and I'll show you that in a minute if I can remember how to close it. I want to show you this part here. On the back, I thought the hinges were metal, but I have my magnet here. And it's all plastic on here. So be careful with the case. Although the case looks nice and it's a little sturdy, you'll notice that. Uh, let me see, where do I do this here? When you take this off, it bends a little bit. Oh, it's more, you can see it more on the top, I think. Yeah, see, it flexes a lot more. So, it's still pretty good, but like I said, this part here, it's not, uh, it doesn't look like a metal hinge there, so you gotta be careful. It moves very smoothly, but who knows how, how that's gonna hold up. Now, uh, with that said, actually, I think I covered most of the uh, set before, but I wanted to show you something. The one thing that I really noticed on the set, this is supposed to be my ASC uh, side, 516, 516, 3 8, 3 8, 7 16, 7 16, half, half, 9 16, 9 16, 5 8, 5 8, say 11 16, 11 16, so all that is good. And then I have the uh, 3 quarter on here, and then I got to the bottom sh uh, shallow. And I get a 19 millimeter. So basically, I have two 19 millimeters. I know that's supposed to be the close uh, conversion to it, but that really, uh, I don't know, uh, messes it up, I guess, if you will. Uh, you're supposed to have all SAE here, but then you get a metric. Why did they do that? I don't know, but on my set, I got. 219s as you can see there's one and there's another 19 there um, it would be nice if they just left it exactly the way it's supposed to be with the uh, uh, SAE on the top and the bottom I mean it's not gonna hurt anything since I hardly use it but still um, I think that's a little bit of an oversight there actually I had three 19 millimeters because I have the uh, deep socket as well, so it's not gonna hurt anything. But I would have liked to see, you know, what it's supposed to be. Um, the other uh, issue I had with this ratchet was basically that it was getting hard to turn the lever. I took it apart. I put a little bit of uh, grease on the uh, lever itself. I didn't put any on the teeth. Uh, I had a little bit of oil, so I left it alone. Uh, tighten these two up on the lever uh, you have to tighten it but don't overdo it too much because if you can go all the way down then it's harder to uh, uh, turn it so that's what I found out uh, from this one I did a video on that on the ratchet uh, itself so I'll post that later um, this is the first one I've ever opened and now it works fine I don't have any problems with it getting stuck um, it's not the greatest, I did count the teeth, it is a 72 teeth uh, ratchet, uh, as you can see, from one side it, it sounds one, it sounds a little different from either, uh, from both sides, so this is what it sounds this way, if I turn it, sounds a little more, I want to say uh, fine tooth that way. Sounds a little more coarse on that one, but now it's starting to sound a little bit closer because I've been playing with it a lot. Let's see. One more. 
one side it's a little it feels a little coarser than the other but it's the same thing it's just the pulse i think um i went in there and uh made sure that both springs were the same one was a little different but it really didn't change too much so you can still hear it a little bit but um it works so i'm fine with that and as far as the wobble i think it's going to be on the sockets not on the ratchet itself because uh, I have my other easy ratchet, uh, easy uh, red, I'm sorry, easy red uh, ratchet, and they still wobble on here. And I don't have a quick release on it. So they still kind of wobble, so that looks like it may be a little bit on the socket. Oops. So let me show you on the with the bigger one. And it may be all the uh, what do you call that? All the ratchets too. So let me check that real quick. Um, here's my Craftman. So you can see it wobbles there too. So the wobble, I'm just gonna say it's the rat, uh, not the ratchet, but the uh, individual. Uh, it could be the ratchets or. I'm gonna guess is the uh, sockets, but I don't have a lot of experience uh, with too many sockets, so uh, you guys can tell me in the comments there. But the point is, they're full out, not a big deal, so it should work fine. I have yet to use it, but the only other thing I guess um, I'm scratching my head about is why not just include the slightly longer uh, ratchet? Um, that would have been nice because it's nice and compact, but you know some things are pretty tight, so you're not gonna get a lot of leverage with this uh, particular ratchet. That's why I got this. Oops. That's why I got the uh, larger ratchet here, my extended little uh, flexible ratchet. But what I did find out that you could do in a pinch. What do we got here? Fifteen. Um, if you want to get that extra leverage on this particular ratchet, if you don't have anything else, you can always go with a 16, put it in there, and you can see that gives you that little extra bit of uh, uh, leverage. Um, not the best solution, but in a really quick jam where you don't have anything else and you don't want to carry anything else to say the junkyard or something, um, just put another. Uh, 16 millimeter socket on there and that will give you a little bit of uh, extra there um, I'm sure you probably take something else to the junk or whatever, but if you in case you don't have it uh, the 15 doesn't fit so That's why I said uh, 16 that one's just the perfect fit right there um, You know what can you do? That's that's just what it is uh, As far as the uh, sockets they all look uh, Nice and shiny, very well made. Um, I know some people had uh, problems on the uh, 10, but on the larger um, set, the one with the two ratchets where you have a quarter and the three X. Um, I didn't need that, although that looks like a nice kit for the price, which reminds me, um, for about $29 and change, you can't go terribly wrong with this uh, particular set and I like it it's very compact obviously you're gonna have other tools with you on a bag or something but I think at least this is gonna cover most of your um, basic auto stuff which is what I want I want to have a tool in my car usually uh, it's not terribly expensive I won't you know if anything happens I'll still have my uh, craftsmen uh, that are made here these are made in Taiwan, although they still look pretty good, and I don't want to get my stuff stolen either way. But it's something that, you know, I don't have to worry about terribly, terribly uh, for the price that it, you know, you can get this uh, sets now. Um, the other thing I noticed on the uh, Texton, you have two latches, one on the right and one on the left. This one's a single, which I actually kind of like. Uh, on the pictures that I've seen on the older... Uh, posts on Amazon. This is red, mine is blue. Um, I like it, it's fine. I don't, you know, 
makes no difference to me. However, I did notice, let's, yeah, just don't drop that on the uh, latch there. Um, I did notice that on the red, you get a lot of grease on there and it'll show. And this is, this is black, it's a little more uh, subtle, so a little more low key, which is nice. The red just uh, stirs it and, you know, screams look at me here. And, you know, it's nice if you lose it in your garage, but, you know, somewhere else you don't want that anyways. But uh, I just wanted to do this little add-on uh, as far as the uh, set goes. Everything seems fine, except for this particular uh, socket here that they didn't put an actual SAE socket, but a metric. And then the ratchet part. Um, and I think that pretty much covers the whole uh, gamut here. Um, if you do want a fuller set, uh, for $10 more, you can just get the slightly bigger set, which is like the one I have down there. Uh, but at least you'll get the uh, deep and the shallow sockets, which I don't have on my others on my older Craftman set. Uh, it does come with the quarter ratchet and a few other things that this one doesn't have. Uh, you don't have any um, spark plug sockets here, but I'm sure everybody probably has those by now anyway. So uh, there's also no space for larger uh, extensions, and that's pretty much it. Um, you know, if that works, then, or if you already have that, then you should be okay, I think. But so far, uh, it's looking good.